Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The pixel depth node. I have a quick little example here. This should not take us too long. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we have our pixel depth node, which is right here. It's pretty simple. It actually has no inputs and no parameters. It just outputs the depth from basically the center of the camera to wherever the pixel is in the scene. That's it. So in our example here, looking at it here, basically I'm taking our pixel depth lowering it by 2048 just so we have a smaller number because keep in mind we want to have something more along the range of 0 to 1 and I'm basically doing an alert between green and red so what this is going to give us of course after I saved it and applied it even though I didn't change anything is depending on how far away we're going to get a green at our maximum distance and a red at our shortest distance so if I get closer to this item which has our material on it the closer pixels will be closer to red. So if I'm all the way on it, for example, they're going to be as red as they can get. And then our farther pixels, if they exceed our range, will be green. If we zoom in and out, you can actually see it changing. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind. Note that I said it's from the center of our camera. Even though, and I'm going to switch over to this camera to show you, we have a little preview down here. This camera is set up at an angle, and this portion this left portion I'm going to go ahead and turn our camera I'm going to rotate it now that left portion is the same horizontally along our vision but you'll notice right now this left corner is red and as I rotate it towards the middle it's going to turn green and as it goes towards the ed edge it's going to go towards red you may be thinking to yourself well my vision, my camera, this, this is the same distance farther away. Well, unfortunately, that's not how it's going to work with the pixel depth. It's going to pick it from basically the center of the camera. And when you're looking at your camera and you rotate from the center to here, this left is going to be a farther distance than the center to straight. Let me reorient my camera back to the middle and then we'll go ahead and zoom in. So this camera right now, if we set up well, yeah, let's go with that. From the center to the middle is going to be a shorter distance than the center to this left edge that we can see. Even though it looks flat on here, keep in mind this is a perspective camera, so we do have a distance with our camera frustrum. It's more, it looks more like this, and I can't remember how to show it. But basically, keep that in mind your pixel depth is based on the depth from the center of the camera not necessarily the edge of the camera to here or the edge of the camera to here so that's something to keep in mind now you may be thinking to yourself well, what would I use this for well it's nice for effects where things fade in and out maybe you want something to have more detail as you fade in or you know you could do something like let's disconnect these two and resave this we're gonna switch it to a black and a white and what's gonna happen here is as we get farther away it's going to fade out as we get closer it's going to fade in so you could have almost a do I have that set to zero yes i do i'm clamping okay that would be why let's go with something like a base color let's shut off a missive let's try that you could have almost a fog fade in effect or you could have something like that like you can see here is a solid white and right here is my fading in and we have that set to um, there we go and see, you can kind of have like a fading effect. So maybe you want a monster to come out of the dark only when they get closer. And you can have it fade away as they get farther away. You can fake fog with it. So that's what our pixel depth node is. It is the depth from the center of our camera to the pixel in terms of distance and units. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.